Hi, I'm Tim Janosevsky. Welcome to this devotional study series, Philippians Invitation to Joy. We saw in our introduction that we are doing this study series because of two words. The first word is joy itself. We hunger for joy and want joy, but joy can be elusive. So how can we get closer to a joy-filled Christian life? And the second word is Philippians, this little letter of Paul to the Philippians. These four chapters, 104 verses, are permeated with a spirit of joy. So let's jump right in by reading verses 1 through 4 in the English Standard Version. Paul and, Apo and Timothy, servants of Christ Jesus, to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are at Philippi, with the overseers and deacons, grace to you and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God in all my remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine for you all, making my prayer with joy. Let's stop right there at that. After Paul gives his little introduction, as he does in all of his letters, good form for how letters were written in the first century, he jumps right in with a word of thanksgiving. What Paul says, as you know, Philippians, every time I think of you, I have a thankful heart. I have a grateful heart. Just the very remembrance of you gives me a sense of thanksgiving. And then he follows that by saying, well, of course, I pray for you. But every time I think to stop and pray for you, this joy, the subject that we're focusing on, this joy wells up inside my heart, my soul, and my spirit. And let's just stop and think about that. Paul is saying about this young church in Philippi, which, by the way, is in Macedonia, that's northern Greece, this little church, every time he thinks about his wonderful little church in Philippi, he's got a grateful heart. Every time he prays for them, joy springs up from within him. Now, don't you have to stop and wonder, what was it about the Philippians that caused Paul to have such thanksgiving when he remembered them. What about this little church made Paul rejoice? Just automatically he had joy when he stopped and prayed for them. And wouldn't we like to be those people? Wouldn't you like to be the kind of person that when, when somebody thinks about you, all of a sudden they've got thanksgiving in their hearts? Or when somebody stops and prays for you, they have a sense of joy within themselves. Let me stop and ask, do I feel like I am that guy for anybody, for certain people? They think of me and they're full of thanksgiving. They think of me and pray for me and joy is in their lives. Well, I don't think there are too many people who may feel or think that way, but I want that. I want to be that guy that brings thanksgiving and joy into the lives of other people. Don't you? Don't you want to be that person? I bet you do. So we need to stop and ask ourselves, what was it about this relationship between Paul and the Philippians that caused thanksgiving and joy to be the hallmark of their relationship? And how can we, through this letter, become the kinds of people that that is descriptive of us? Stop and think. Read and reflect and react and respond. Ask yourself, Lord, how can I become such a person that I am a bringer of thanksgiving and of joy into the lives of other people? And Lord, help me, help me through the book of Philippians to become that guy or that gal, that person in Jesus Christ. Think about that, and we'll continue with our journey through Philippians, Spotlight Philippians, Invitation to Joy. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll talk to you next time.